by, by saying, I think this, or I feel this means that I have to take ownership with whatever comes out of my mouth next. If I say we and, and try to hide behind a collective group, maybe it's men, maybe it's my work, whatever, we feels like I, I've, I don't know, you can, there's sometimes a bit of um, safety in that. You could almost suggest that I don't think so, but we think this. Mm. But I think when you start talking, like you're saying, I believe this, or this has been my experience. You know, you talk about a certain situation, maybe the, the theme feel I said is anger. I'm not ever going to pass judgment on you. And no, no one else in the circle will either. We'll just acknowledge it. We'll hold space for it. And then when it's my turn to speak, or maybe I've got something to contribute, I contribute from my, my own perspective. I think that's the beauty of, you know, we start talking about Southern Men's Gathering. You bring yourself, you're welcomed in any way. And what's said there is yours. When I first think of that, I'm like, well, what's the point? I'm just talking about my story and I'm like, no one's helping me. So I'm yeah. not getting therapy. Like, why well, do that? But um, yeah. the amount of gold I get listening to other men's stories yeah. um, is just incredible. Like, there's not a night I'll go to a men's group and um, hear someone's story and pick up something from it and be like, wow, I can relate to that or I can use that in my own life or I can. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, and the same with the men's gathering, the, the weekend gathering, it's just this immersive um, space of just being able to hear everyone's story and, and articulating what's going on for myself and um, hearing how other people have dealt with the situation. And, and then yeah. I can say, oh yeah, that, that, that would work. I can use that for myself. And yeah. Um, 